Oh my gosh, you guys, John got worse. I'm now at the hospital in Elko, Nevada. I'm going into the emergency room now. I had to park. So let's pray that he's okay. We think he has meningitis. We'll see. on our anniversary trip to Elko, Nevada. Really cute town. Yeah, we love our hotel room. It's wonderful. Recommend to anyone that wants yeah. to get away, uh, depending on how far you are from Elko, but 60 bucks a night for a great room. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Best money we ever spent on a hotel yeah. room. And now we're in the restaurant. Eating and breakfast. Sure, we're gonna be. I mean, it's awesome. Oh, so. I don't have any... Uh... Uh, mascara. You don't need <laughs> I it. look different. Yeah. Um, but Sean is feeling much better. He was not yeah. feeling well. Oh, did well. you tell him last night? Yeah, I said um, we weren't feeling it's well. It's really super weird. Um, I was, I woke up, see how red it is right here? I, I feel like I've got some sort of infection going on all the way down here to the left side of my face. I took some ibuprofen when I woke up, but about halfway to Elko, I got really sick, yeah. running a fever, and I slept pretty much just vegged the whole time in the bed when we got to our hotel room. I feel a little weak, but almost normal, but I'm still hurting yeah. all the sides. So I took some ibuprofen and I might have to go to the doctor on Monday. The good thing is he has VA. So. Yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> always a covered. blessing, for sure. <laughs> but uh, stay tuned for more adventures. I didn't really get a video our room last night because Sean wasn't feeling well, so. We need to take a picture of the uh, casino. Well, I've already filmed it oh, yeah. okay. last night when I checked in. Okay. Yeah, the room is great. It's really comfortable and it's spacious. Better than I expected, actually. And there's an RV park over there. There's my car. We just had a delicious breakfast at JR's restaurant. So John can do it. And here oh, we are. Feels good. Excuse I'll the mess. Right there. This is our room. Hi guys. I am in the car. I'm about to go to a thrift store in Elko, Nevada. John's still not filling up to par. He's got some kind of infection, uh, skin rash on his face. But we're going to go out later and he's going to rest in the hotel room. I picked Elko. One of the reasons why I picked Elko is that they have thrift stores here. But um, I just looked at the thrift stores and two of them are closed on the weekend, <laughs> which I didn't expect. And then this one I'm going into is called Uptown Cheapskate. I was going to show it to you, but... Um, and I don't even know if that's a thrift store, but I'm going to head in and see what I see. Oh, I like this fill of bag sale. June, July 24th, that's today. I don't know about the kid to kid part. Oh, thanks. Oh, what a cute door though. 
Oh, okay, that's not what I'm looking for. What about over here? Let's try, the, oh, this is one that's apparel. I was going in the wrong door. Oh, that's the head. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for at all. Bummer. Oh, well, guys, I guess I'm not going to store shopping. That's really a big bummer. Okay, I thought I would try this place. Real deal. Never heard of it. There it goes. See what it's like? Not technically a thrift store, but. Maybe I'll find a real deal. Oh, it kind of reminds me of Pier 1 for Cost Plus. Hi, thanks. Smells good in here. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, that last place was not a thrift store. Very nice, but um, you know, I don't pay full real to retail for anything, and I, I used to, <laughs> but now that I've found thrift stores, uh, no need. You know, I'm a little bummed that the thrift stores are closed. Um, I looked up on Google Maps, and it said that there are some that are open in Winnie Mucca which I never heard of, Winnie Mucca, Nevada. Oh, that's my watch, you guys. Casting reflection. Um, but I might talk John into it. <laughs> we could drive an hour and a half to these thrift stores because that's part of the reason why I wanted to come here. But I'm very much enjoying it here. It's, it seems like a really cool town. The people are super nice. Everybody at the hotel is very nice. I'm friendly and helpful and the room is super comfortable the bed is comfortable it's very spacious and just awesome and you guys we only paid 120 and uh, for two nights at this hotel everywhere else was like a hundred or over for one night because it's summer and it's on the weekend um, but Elko is very reasonable and if you guys ever thought about coming out here I would highly recommend it. it's really great the food at the restaurant was delicious having a wonderful time it's kind of a bummer John's under the weather but you know that's how it goes I think we're just gonna stay in tonight and watch movies um you know but it's it's okay as long as you're with the one you love it's all good so anyway I'll let you know if I do end up going to the thrift store today if not still gonna have a wonderful time so stay tuned again oh my gosh you guys I'm so excited I found a thrift store and it's open yay so come along with me Oh my gosh, you guys, John got worse. So now we're at the hospital in Elko, Nevada. I'm going into the emergency room now. I had to park. 
So let's pray that he's okay. We think he has meningitis. We'll see. Okay, guys, I'm back in the motel room. Uh, John's still in the hospital. They said it was going to be at least another hour or so. And John wanted to go to sleep, and I was just sitting there. <laughs> I forgot to bring my book. So John said, go ahead and go back to the motel room. And we should be hearing it about an hour or so, which is probably around midnight our time, um, about what the tests conclude is wrong with him. And then I will go back and get him. We'll come back and sleep here tonight and go home tomorrow. So stay tuned yet again. Hi guys, just want to give you an update. John and I are back home. Um, it was a fun weekend, but it had some stress to it because John was in the hospital. Turns out he had a respiratory infection and they gave him some antibiotics. So he's taken those and he's taken ibuprofen, Tylenol, acetaminophen, thin. And he should be fine a few days because the antibiotic will kick it out of the system. But right now he is sleeping and I thought I would get home and catch up with eBay. I bought some things at the thrift store that I want to list and I'll let you guys know about. I let you, I kind of let you know what they were already on the footage. So hope you're having a great day. I'm very hot, as you can probably see. And I will talk to you guys later, bye. Hi guys. I thought I would give you a final update on John's condition. When we were in Elko, Nevada, he was misdiagnosed by the doctor there. They told him he had an upper respiratory um, condition and he also had pneumonia, but we thought that was kind of weird since he wasn't having respiratory issues, you know, like bronchitis or something like that. So when uh, we came home, he was taking the medication they prescribed, but he wasn't getting better, he was getting worse. So I took him to the St. Luke's in Twin Falls Hospital ER, and he was there several hours. And the doctor was kind of stumped at first as to what his condition was. And then um, John said, well, is it colitis? Cellitis? Not colitis, cellitis. And the doctor said, yeah, that's actually what I was thinking. And um, that turns out what he had. So you're welcome to look that up. Um, what it is, it's when uh, somebody gets like a cut and bacteria gets inside the cut, it spreads through your bloodstream and into your lymph nodes. And that's what make him, made him very sick. I mean, he had fever, he had um, chills, he was in pain. His neck from his head down to the base of his chest was all red, beet red. He was hot, It was he was in pain. It was horrible. I wouldn't want, wish that on anybody. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, he's better now, he's on a different medication. So, um, and I'm waiting to go in the store. I just thought I would update you now. And uh, he's at home. So the good news and the bad news is that he's feeling better. He's on the right medication. And oh, he also had swelling, but that's gone down. His, um, he's not as warm. His redness is fading a little bit and he's much, much better. But the bad news is this medication has come with side effects. He was up all last night. At seven o'clock this morning, he woke me up and said, I've been up all night. I had no idea because I was sleeping away. And a poor man. So now he's at home. He was sleeping for a few hours and he's awake. Sorry, got an itch, guys. <laughs> and um, so he's better. But then the other thing is irritability. That's another symptom, side effect. And last night we were kind of like fighting. We were like kind of annoyed with each other and just kind of giving jabs. And that's not like us at all. If... if anybody knows us we don't fight we don't argue yes we disagree like most people do uh but we love each other and we're kind with each other so we we're usually like sorry and we get over it and we were kind of like sorry last night but it was um it was tough but now we know why i was like why is he acting that way <laughs> um and now i know why so i'm gonna be more tolerant i think um anyway it's all good you guys he's gonna get better i just wanted to let you know 
what was going on and thank you for your prayers and support and um, I'm very thankful I could just get the news across like this on my channel and of course I've been posting on Facebook as well uh, but anyway I hope you guys have a wonderful day I will keep uh, updating you and sending you footage of my thrift hauls etc etc have a great day and I'll see you next time bye